back out, analyze it, go back in, play more matches, back out, analyze it. Oh, I sure did get the wrong color in here. Oh, okay. Okay, well, there should be some good analysis here. Wow, okay, I thought I could get over that. Interesting. Yeah, that combos. Okay. Right, so I forgot about the uh, the 6P buff. Though, actually, I'm not sure if that makes it go further up or just horizontal. But... Hmm. Yeah, I need to be a lot smarter about my airspace. Like, my approach in the air. And on the ground, honestly. But... Oh god. Is it coming to see Oh, the Afro stays lit? Interesting. He's gonna have these. Ah, he does have a okay. Yeah, he expected me to go for the TK Bad Moon because I just needed one hit. So, makes sense. Yeah, Pip Yap, he's been going for the throw a bunch, which means me going for the throw there was actually bad. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. The, uh, I need to remember. Shouldn't be doing Estus there anyways. I should just be doing a. Uh, like if I'm going to do a special, I should be doing uh, Lush Anchor. Oh shoot! Right. Okay. Hitting him does not remove the Afro. Okay. Oh my god, what an air throw. Okay. I was trying to confirm the jump H that I thought hit when I saw the freeze frames. Yeah, okay, I can't aim for that and fast rock. Fast crouch at the same time. Yep, yep.
yeah, I'm just dead. I got super greedy. Uh, I thought I could get a hit on the way down. But I couldn't decide if I was going for that or like an air wire C or something. Okay, okay. Next week, same time. Let me fix my color. I don't know why it's on blue. Also, that's important. Oh, because I overwrote the wrong color. Whoopsies. Okay. Guess I'm rocking this on uh, Netplay today. Okay, well, I did say that I'm going to be doing that and then a VOD review. So. See, the temptation is just to hop straight back in. That's not how you learn stuff. Go ahead and mute Strive real quick. Oh. There we go. Okay. So let's see. I, I guess, uh, well, yeah. Let's, uh, shut up. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. All right. Uh, let me go grab some other music real quick. Uh, I normally have it recording into different audio tracks, but not currently. I would find never say that. Professional streamer. What's happening? Okay, I'll need to fix my settings here in a second. Uh, for now, though. All right, let me just go grab some good old gear music. Actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, that's what I'm in the mood for. Let's do... Let's do this. Okay, it is now VOD analysis time. As VLC kills itself. <laughs> So, Faust. Uh, I play this matchup a decent amount, though it's been a bit, honestly. Like, I fought Dre once on Saturday, but I am less confident in this matchup than I used to be, uh, like, rust-wise. And then there's also, you know, Faust got a bunch of new stuff. Seems real good. Uh, my general game plan against him needs to be... Like, if I can force a whiff and use it to get in, I think right now, just like off the top of my head thinking back, I am, like he's, I'm making him whiff a lot of stuff and not taking advantage of it at all, is I guess how I'd put it. So let me pull up. Today is the 19th. Okay, so free analysis thoughts. Uh, I am forcing whiffs an okay amount uh, against Faust in general, but not like looking for them to capitalize on them. Take advantage. Otherwise, he's got like surprisingly okay buttons at everything outside of like absolute point blank and i guess that now he even has the five frame 
And melee also has slow buttons, so scrambles feel not great IMO for Milia. Uh, at least here, especially because Faust can hit pretty hard if he gets the right starter. And he's very much like a snowball character. Obviously Milia is too, but done in a very different way. So the thing that I've been trying to do more against him lately is just anytime I'm in a situation where I can press advantage or bail out, uh, I will always choose bail out. I don't think I did a very good job of that in this match, though. Anyways, uh, enough off the top of my head memory. Ooh, VLC, please. Let's actually watch the thing. I need to lab round starts against this character also. I was making a note. Sorry, you're gonna see me jumping around a ton in here. Ah, uh, I know that one, I know that one. Uh, situation versus... Love. I know that one. I know not to air dash over it. You either bail out or run under is Milia, but super, super old habit. That's what I thought I did at first. Uh, I actually... So this is a situation that I've seen a lot on streams and haven't had to deal with all that much myself in previous matches. The just like push you back down to ground thing. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't try and like mash once I saw him jump up at me. Also, I did, uh, so I get thrown here, which, okay, first data point on true 50-50 there. I block the jump dust, good. Does light the afro on fire. You, I think that you have to avoid it to stop that, and I'm not sure I really can avoid the situation, because maybe a backdash timed with the gods would work, but uh, probably not. Uh, but I'm not ready for the second overhead. Watch for... Uh, what is that? Snip, snip, snip. Close slash, second, jump dust. Okay. And yeah, and then he gets the full wall break confirm off of it. Uh, doesn't have to go for super, which I think would have killed, but maybe it doesn't work at that range or it doesn't connect consistently with that much uh, time on the wall. I know that super is incredibly slow. All right, this jump, and I'm just like, oh look, he whiffed the 2P or whatever it is. BRC. Yeah, there's a 2P. Just because it whips 2P does not mean I get a punish. Uh, jump. JH does not whiff punish 2P. <laughs> and yeah, just get 6P'd into full combo. The mix, mix, mix. Uh, it actually like, back hit there, but still works out. This... This 2P at round start, I actually like really need to figure out what to do about it. I wonder if I can like delay 2K 2D or something. Uh, I try at 6H later on just as like a gamble to see if it low crushes it. But honestly, unless it counter hits, and I don't think it would on the recovery, it doesn't even get me all that much. Um, because it's a 2P, I can't really, you know, jump and punish it. It <laughs> just went over that, just died for trying that. Let's see, my... I'm actually gonna say that I am playing, I'm pretty happy with how I'm playing here because I'm like faking approaches a lot and not committing. I do try and commit here. Uh, Faust has a super fast back walk and I just kind of aimed for where he was. I figured, oh, I've been showing the backing off a lot. Uh, he's gonna try and like over commit. This is me trying to stuff a preempt basically. And uh, I am wrong. <laughs> but I, I, I'm like okay with the decision making there at the moment. And yeah, this boss is uh, very good at watching for my jumps. What is it that's clearing him in? Is it just the distance or... I think I always do this on a wake up actually. So I don't think he's just reacting here. Yeah, okay, no way, that's a reaction. So yeah, just like calling it out. It's probably not a super high risk uh, movement pattern for Faust anyways, but the real question for me here is, 
What is the advantage of me going in the air? Um, off the top of my head, I think I'm trying to get out of the uh, snip, snip, snip situation. You know, just the standard, like, meaty on the ground versus throw. He's already running at me. I can't back off fast enough to avoid it, so I try and avoid it a different way because I don't want to challenge. Um, assuming I don't know he's going to jump here, I can probably just, like, back walk. I I'm not sure I want to risk a back dash there because if he does run up all the way and, like, close slash, then it gets the air conversion. Um, I could definitely, like, jump and then, like, jump backwards or jump backdash or something. By the time I recognize the situation, though, it's already too late, so I need to block, which I do. And so that, that was good. I'm, like, close enough to the corner that I just kind of wanted to get out. And this isn't, like, the worst thing in the world, but this time, yeah, I, I just kind of hold my ground there get thrown, stuck in the corner, and yeah, I expected the second jump dust again, but nope, he mixed it up this time. It's tricky to do that uh, orange jump, or the orange dust with the fire, too. Okay, let's see, so burst here, um, yeah, honestly, I probably don't have all that much better of a place to do it. Yeah, because the dust hit, he has to spend meter here, and he doesn't have it, so this is a guaranteed burst, and it gets the afro off me. Um, yeah, I, I think that this was a good burst. I don't think I checked his meter before I did it, but I also didn't have that many other chances left in this game, so I figured I might as well spend it. Okay, actually... This is a bit wonky. So I get the burst... And I... Did I, like, miss my input, or did I try and just walk out of the corner? Let's see. Yeah, okay, I missed my input. Uh, recognized it, went to blocking, because I'm not where I thought I was. And, ooh, okay, uh, I think I got a bit lucky on that with punish. Yeah, not ready for the burst, but that's, like, fine overall. I'll be honest, I really thought I was out of range of, uh of this bomb here, but I guess that hitbox is just way bigger than it looks. Uh, glad I was blocking. So here's a good example. He goes for 2H, which I'm actually positioned to just dash in and kill him for, but I go for like a high jump air dash to try and punish, and it gives him time to 6P. Uh, my reactions have to be, like, I have to be looking for the 2H to punish that, I think. But at the moment, I'm just kind of not. Watch for with 2H, especially dash punish. Okay. I get kind of blown up here for this. <laughs> the cross up. Yeah, that, that was good. And super, yeah, it just kills me. So, round start. I think he's going to 2P again. Yeah, he just. Wait, did he like micro walk 2P? Does that just actually hit at round start if I'm not holding straight back? Yeah, wow, his 2P just hits, uh... Wow. Uh, Foss got big buttons. All right. And here, let's see, so I get, I block the 2P, he's just kind of whiffing buttons, and yeah, I'm, I'm not, okay, so it sort of works, here's the 2H, I run in, I don't get a punish on it, but it's because I'm not looking for it in particular, like, I could react, <laughs> I reacted at, like, a decent time for it, but yeah, definitely not, like, a true, like, I'm ready for it with punish, that was more of a try and, like, react and take space kind of deal. Block the 5D, and I am glad that I labbed that out. That was a punish that I didn't know I got in the past. I should know better than that situation. I run into that all the time against Dre, the uh, the 5H into Scapple Pull. 
Uh, I think I remember later in the set, though. Why did I... I'm trying to catch a jump out here? Uh, jump H would have actually, I'm pretty sure, hit here. I guess it's within, like, a frame, but... Uh, jump slash, I don't think, would ever whiff punish that button from Faust. I think, yeah, okay, I do get the left right here. That should have been a close slash 2D, but that's an optimization I'm still working on. And Estes gives him just enough meter. I remember thinking about that here and going for, yeah, okay. So he's going for the PRC tech, which I actually, that's what I expected, which is why I went for this like super fake double air dash thing, uh, because he's gonna do the super PRC OS. That's why he still has his meter. Uh, I believe anyway. Yeah, because it, it, if it's counter hitting, it means it's counter hitting the RC. So uh, that's this one actually probably does matter that it wasn't. Um, yeah, if that was close slash, this would have been a true cross up disc. But this was really risky. I was betting on him not doing 6P, which I don't actually know how that interacts with the safe jump. Let me write that down. Wall break safe jump. This is but okay, so I get that, and then I go for 2k, which actually ends up, I think, costing me a lot. Like, I don't know which way he's blocking here, but yeah, yeah, I, know. I think he, uh, he got the auto cross-up protection, so close slash actually would have won me this round, which I guess I could hit him. Right, okay, I do close slash. I think he's expecting TK Bad Moon because I have meter and only need one hit, so I go for 2S instead, and it actually takes the round, which, wow, I took a round against uh, the Faust, at least on Twitter. I think, let's see here. Yeah, I wasn't confident that I wouldn't get hit by it, so I tried to double jump out. I could have done a jump H and gotten like a punish here that would have counter hit, I'm pretty sure. That one too, but that time I tried to bait the 6p on what would have been a true punish and got 6p'd instead. Okay, okay though. Yeah, my uh, when I'm coming down from this situation, I feel like I am consistently picking wrong. So I really need to sit down and like figure out the specifics here. And also be way more willing to just bail out. Yeah, so Faust here is very willing to just chill, and I did not attempt to go for the throw. Okay, okay. In the VOD I said, uh, man, I can't believe, or I need to stop going for S disc here, I should be going for Lush Shaker. I forgot what the spacing was here. Uh, what I should have done here is just let it recover. <laughs> I think what happened is I thought that I was getting a true punish, so I'd already hit the quarter circle forward. My hands were just like, send it. Anyways, then I die. <laughs> um, yeah, he has a hundred meter here, so he also could have just done like super RC. Would have spent a hundred of his meter, but like could have just dodged that whole RPS situation anyways. Clearly he didn't need to. I'm assuming that this is a situation that has been labbed out, uh, or at least just run into enough, especially with how S-Disc used to work for block pressure stuff. Okay, yeah, 2P again. So I do jump. Um, I, okay, I'm actually, I'm happy that I did this here, but I need to test how it works. Uh, does 6P hit? Neutral jump JS. Because if so, then this is risky. If not, then this is my like low risk try and catch jump thing. Wow, that far slash actually hit me. Oh, amazing. Uh, I am not using faultless like at all on defense, and I'm not sure why. I guess I just wasn't thinking about it. And yeah, okay, I confirmed here because I thought that hitting him would make the afro go away. Uh, clearly not. He was super ready. Didn't even bother trying to burst it because he knew he was going to get a combo. 
There's that, yeah, that 2p check is so good at round start. All right, good, good shit, me. Uh, chilling at full screen, bailing out, though I did put myself in a prime get 6p'd range. Oh my god, I forgot. That was such a godlike air throw. Um, so I jump here and I jump to avoid the minion, and I guess he just knew. Let's see, this air throw. Like, I think that the hit stop is the jump H connecting, but I think he throws me like the frame it hits. Super good, super good. You could say, damn, he's good. Okay, 2p round start again. I think this is the one where I gamble on. No, okay, I just, I down back. It must be last round that I gamble on 6h then. I know the situation versus love. God damn it. Hell, I can probably mirage it now, to be honest, at uh, spacings like that. Why did I... Okay, so I try and... Oh, he does double jump. Okay, I tried to throw here, like throw punish his landing, which is this weird habit I've gotten from Melty, because I'm like gambling on defense so much that I will just try and like land punish, or like throw to punish landings for some reason. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, either way, throw doesn't get me a whole lot here, and if anything, I should probably have tried to 6p, which would also have gotten blown up here, I think. But that 2k was really good. I need to, uh, well, one, I need to super jump IAD out of the corner uh, if I'm going to pick that. Yeah, yeah, okay, let me, let me write that down. Super jump IAD when trying, when selecting it to escape. Uh, also, use FD literally at all. <laughs> okay, um, so this is interesting because he has seen that I go for uh, the rising jump S occasionally, and so he goes for a delayed one of his own to try and catch it. Uh, oh wow, that is such low recovery. I actually, yeah, I tried to, like, I whiff throw here. That's what that animation down there is. Holy shit, that doesn't hit me. <laughs> what a catch on the back dash. Yeah, not gonna not gonna waste a burst here. I think that's a perfect. I guess technically. I don't know what uh, chip damage did, but yeah, okay. So I still actually don't know how this interacts with 2P. I assume I get hit on this frame uh, because it does reach to round start. Uh, but yeah, he's ready for it. Just goes for the 5H. Can I... I... Oh, I had already committed to the Mirage, so this disc is an attempt to catch it. I guess maybe... Haircar's probably too slow there. Is this... What? Okay, okay, roll back. I'm not hallucinating. I thought when I did this that I saw the hit sparks, but... Yeah, okay. Um... I think Jump H actually would have worked here. Yeah, yeah, Jump S whiffs. Now that Jump H can counter hit, I need to be using it way more to jump in. JS. Okay. That's another good note for sure. So far, every time I've used Capel has been safe. That one, I'm very glad that I've fought Dre enough to know that situation. This is like kind of Scramble City. Um, right. Here, I actually, I don't agree with my decision here. He doesn't have meter, so I run up and I'm like, okay, he has one resource, it's burst. I need to bait it so that I can do like big damage. He still has like a round to work with 
and I'm probably not going to kill him off of whatever conversion, especially I don't have meter, so like, Bad Moon's not a threat, this is straight throw mix, or like some real fake, uh, I could have done like an IED jump H here, which I just do like a rising faultless to try and bait burst, and I get the hit, I still think that that was a bad decision though. Ah, what a drop. Which, the burst came anyways, so it, it the situation ended up similar, just he had slightly more health. Okay, so this hammer, what happens here? Oh, he obscured it with his body. Okay, I thought that the screen dragged over more. Um, can you see? Yeah. I thought that this was falling over here. I need to remember, uh, item does not, like, item is based on its position. It does not drag with the screen. What a super good pick up there from Greg Toe. Wall break. And I, yeah, I just die here, right? Yep, yep. Super into Ed. RIP. Okay, so let's see. I think that the uh, the core takeaways here. Well, I guess let's do uh, the absolute basics. I need to use JH for my jump ins way more instead of jump S. And I got greedy counter hit fishing with jump S, but it uh, yeah, it uh. <laughs> kind of doesn't function the best as a jump in, unfortunately. You know, it hits above waist, so it like auto loses to all six Ps. It'll just like whiff on them, and most of the cast crouching, actually. Uh, I need to select better on my jump ins. Jump ins and bait more often with extra air options. Uh, I need to super jump IAD when escaping, or when trying to use it to escape the corner. And I really need to watch for, um, like, whiff 2H in the Faust matchup. Okay. Well, um... 